Not everyone wants to become a full-time business person and run their own company. You might want to work for someone else and have a regular job. That's fine. That's why we're going to talk about some side hustles. And really, most businesses should start as a side hustle anyway. If you guys are just joining me for the first time, I'm John from BulldogMindset.com. On this channel, I teach you how to be a man. I teach you how to build financial independence, how to get the physique you want, how to get the girls you want, how to go from the victim mindset to what I call the bulldog mindset. If that sounds like something you are all about, click that subscribe button, click the bell so you get notifications, and make sure that you take the bulldog quiz up here in the cards and in the link down below here in the description. It's going to give you a score from 0 to 100, just 10 questions there. I'll tell you if you're a bulldog or not. All right, so side hustles, okay? Here's the deal, all right? There's a lot of ways to make money online, all right? And there's a lot of ways to make someone else money online. What do I mean by that? There's a lot of scams out there, okay? Now, fortunately for you, most of the scams actually work, okay? If you actually follow through. So what do I mean by this? What I mean is that there's a lot of guys that are selling some course on how to make $30,000 a month on a Shopify store in, in three months. Okay. You're not going to do that. You're not going to make $30,000 a month on a Shopify store in three months. Okay. But if you buy a course like that, you're going to learn how to set up a Shopify store and you're going to learn a basic strategy that's going to allow you to make some money as a side hustle online. And maybe in three months, you might be making 500 or a thousand bucks a month. Okay. That's, that's fine. And maybe you pay a lot of money for that course. That's fine. I, I have no problem with a lot of guys that sell courses like that. Okay. Because if you actually followed it, you would you would be successful. Because I know I, I know a lot of these guys. I've bought a lot of these courses. I've, I've looked at them. And I'm like, wow, that's actually some pretty good advice. It's a little pricey, you know. But hey, if someone follows this actual advice, they're not going to get the results that that they're kind of being promised. But they shouldn't be expecting those results anyway. Now, why am I saying this? Why am I starting with this? Okay, I'm not trying to defend fake gurus and charlatans and, and people that are giving you bad information and deceiving you about results, okay? Because I don't deceive you about results, all right? I, like I tell you, and I'm gonna tell you straight in this video what you can really expect, okay? So what you can really expect is to spend about a year to two years not making hardly any money at all. And then after two years of hard work, working really, really hard, then maybe in year three or year four, you start to make a decent amount of money. And then maybe by year five, you could actually make a full-time income worth of money or, or maybe more if, if you've done really well for yourself. Okay. Now, where do I get this from? I get this from my own experience building multiple businesses. Okay. Online from scratch. Okay. I get this from coaching. Uh, how many individual coaching clients have I had now? Probably, I don't know. 60 or 70, right? Uh, and, and mostly helping them start businesses and seeing them do this. Some people succeed and some people fail. Uh, most of the people that failed gave up. I, I haven't seen anyone fail that's actually made it two years of producing content. Okay. I'm sure there's some app that are out there, but this is what I've seen. Okay. And I've seen some people that have been outliers that have been, had a lot of success. If, if you've checked out my, my coaching page, by the way, you, you can check it out. There's a link here. If you're interested in the one-on-one -on -one coaching, I don't really advertise it because my, it's usually full. There's a link down here below, but uh, I've got a testimonial from one of my coaching clients, Gregory. He did phenomenal. He does phenomenal. He's got a great YouTube channel. If you're interested in blockchain and become a blockchain developer, it's called DAP University. Go check that out. Go subscribe to his channel. But you know, he's a, he's an outlier as an example of someone who did really well. Of course, he followed everything and it still took him a good two years, right? Like a year and a half to two years to really become successful. And, and now he's making really good money, you know, per, you know, I'm not going to give his exact numbers, but let's say that it's above $20,000 a month, uh, f pretty far above that most months. Okay. So that's what you should expect. Okay. And it doesn't matter what the business is, if it's drop shipping, if it's, you know, and, and again, some people are going to get outlier results, but don't expect that. And ins instead expect this is going to take you one to two years of really, really hard work. And then you're going to start to make some money, but it'll be totally worth it. Okay. Cause I went through this journey myself and you know, I didn't intend to build a business. I didn't have the knowledge that I had now, but when I started my first blog, when I started simple programmer and I started making a thousand bucks a month, I was like, Hey, this is almost like a mortgage payment per month. It's like, it's like half my mortgage payment. That's pretty awesome, you know, for this blog that I have. And a lot of it was passive at that point because there wasn't a lot I had to do like to get that money. I was, what I was doing was working to build, to grow for the future. So with that said, let's talk about what you actually want to do if you want to start a side hustle. So the very first thing that you want to do is you want to pick out a very specific niche that you're going to serve. Okay. What is the group of, of people that you're going to serve? What is that core audience? 
okay? Because a lot of people are trying to build a business around a product or a service, and that's really the wrong way to approach it, I think, okay? Because the hardest problem in business building is traffic, okay? Is, is getting customers, right? If you have traffic, if you, if you give me a million people, I can make a business out of it. I could figure out something to sell them, right? Uh, but that's the hardest problem. And so we want to figure out who's the audience that we're going to serve so we can grow rapidly, right? So for example, let, let's just take Bulldog Mindset, all right? Who am I serving? Who's my audience, right? Think about this, right? I'm catering to guys. You're probably, if, if you are watching this video, and there's outliers, of course, but you're probably in your 20s, okay? You're probably male, okay? You probably have some kind of technical or computer-related background. You might be a software developer, okay? You probably are making, well, on income, it, it, it could it could be pretty pretty varied but but you're probably interested in 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 women okay you're probably interested in getting in shape you're probably interested in stoic philosophy to some degree uh, in in philosophy in in having a good mindset and being productive okay and you're probably interested in in making some money online and building a business and eventually retiring young to, you you want to live that life right you you probably are very interested in living a life like mine right a lot of you guys that's that's why you're here is because you want to know how you can essentially be me and that's fine you know that that's great but what i'm saying is that it's very specific right in the, in the sense that i'm targeting men that are in their 20s mostly that uh, that are very motivated to do something with their life to transform their life that that's that's my target audience so maybe you you know especially maybe you've been socially awkward right so so there's a lot of a lot of things here and mine's not even super super precise okay i'm a little bit broader than what you should be but you need to figure out something right so for example uh, let's say that that you're you're smart enough you're like hey you know what I'd like to create? I'd like to create something that John would really love, okay? <laughs> so what if you created a, a podcast, let's say, uh, about ultra running for bodybuilders? Bingo! How fast am I subscribing to your podcast? Because I want to hear that. Because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a rare ultra running bodybuilder. But guess what? I'm not the only one. I've interviewed two on my, on my YouTube channel. Okay, and there's probably hundreds, there's probably thousands that are out there and each one of them is gonna be like, wow, I didn't know there was anyone else out there. And when you have a whole community of them, guess what? If you made a membership and you charge me a hundred bucks a month to join your ultra runners, uh, ultra running bodybuilders membership, I would pay a hundred bucks a month right now to join that. As long as there's gonna be other people in there that I can talk to that are also bodybuilding ultra runners. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why it's so important to figure out what is your specific niche, okay? Figure out an audience that you're gonna target. The more specific it is, the more that someone looks at it and they're like, wow, that's exactly me, the better off it is. Now from there, what's your job? It's to create a lot of content, a lot of free content. Okay, that's how you're gonna get traffic because you only get traffic of one or two ways, all right? One way is you get free traffic from, or from content that you create. You give value. It's not totally free. You're like, you're creating it. Okay, it costs you time or you pay for traffic. So you can put out Facebook ads, that's fine, but you wanna go and spend a bunch of money on Facebook ads and, and try to figure it out, try to build an audience that way. It's gonna be expensive. It may pay off in the end, but it's gonna be expensive. So I'm gonna give you the way that I do it and the way that I tell my coaching clients that pay me a lot of money to coach them. Uh, I tell them to create a bunch of content, create a bunch, that's what I'm doing right here. I'm creating a YouTube video, right? That's how I get people into my funnel. That's how I get people into the Bulldog Mindset. That's how you hear about me is from my YouTube videos. Then after all that, again, this is like a one to two year period, right? You've built up an audience. Then we take the next steps. And I'm not gonna go over the next steps here because you guys don't need to know the next steps yet. If you're at the point where you need the next steps, okay, then email me. Do, let's do some coaching. I'll, I'll, I'll help you to do that. That's where you're at the point where you, where you really need that help at that point. I mean, you could get it before then. A lot of guys do get that help before then. But what I'm saying is that most of you, th what I just told you right now about building a side hustle, that's all you need to know. Okay. So now this is like building an audience and building a product. If you want to do some kind of drop shipping thing, or you want to do some for sale by Amazon, I still think that you can use that as a model right? As, as a system that you still have an audience first. That's what I think. I mean, let's say you want to write books because there's, because I can give you a bunch of business ideas, right? If you look at my income reports, if you haven't, go check out some of my income reports. I, I do it every month. Where, where does my money come from? Okay. It comes from books, like books that I, that I've written, that I've sold. Okay. It used to come from some apps that I developed. Okay. 
It comes from uh, Bulldog Mindset, like a mem the membership here that comes from the YouTube channel. It comes from advertising the YouTube channel, right? From from income from, from there. It comes from affiliate deals that I do with my affiliate partners, okay? It comes from coaching. It comes from, uh, you know, on the other business, the, the same type of thing. So from products that I sell, digital products that I sell, okay? It comes from lending out the rights to my books, royalties, uh, from, from the actual rights that I'm giving out, right? And it comes from, I think what else maybe that's about it you know there, there's various sources in between that right so by the way uh if you want to you know to see exactly the steps for for creating the business because again in this video i'm just trying to give you the idea of how to start a side hustle okay but if you want the actual like steps of of you know how do you collect email addresses and how do you go through all the technical details of it uh definitely join the bulldog mindset membership there's a link up in the cards, link down below, $7 for the first month, and then $30 a month, $29 a month afterwards. Totally worth it, okay? Huge community of guys that are doing this already. You can ask a lot of questions in there. I've got video lessons, like I said, that tell you exactly step-by-step -step how to do this, plus all the other stuff, and there's a live Q&A. A lot of people don't take advantage of that. You can jump on live Q&A, you can ask me your questions, and I'll, I'll basically give you coaching for 30 bucks a month, okay? Uh, so go check it out if you haven't already. All right, now. So, so where does this take us? Okay, from here, simple. First thing I want you to do is I just want you to pick out a niche, okay? An audience that you're going to serve. Very specific, like I said, remember, keep in your mind, ultra running for bodybuilders, something around that, okay? I say you should be able to be number one best in the world. Second, pick a medium, okay? You wanna make YouTube videos, you wanna make blog posts, you wanna do Instagram, you wanna do TikTok, please don't do TikTok, but if you wanna do TikTok, fine, do TikTok, okay? Pick a medium podcast all right and that's your main medium you can expand to other ones later but i want you to pick one and i want you to be prolific and produce a lot of content around that specific topic in that medium okay and that's all i want you to worry about right now once you get to the point where you actually have an audience okay then come back then come look at some of my other videos then come look at some of the stuff in the bulldog mindset membership if you're curious now go join the membership like i said you should join it anyway because it's going to help you with the content part but you know then then we can talk about what are the next steps right we're going to gather some email addresses right we're going to uh, eventually figure out some kind of product whether we're going to do what are we going to do membership you want to write a book you want because even if you write a book okay let me tell you why i have i have a wall street uh, journal bestseller like this no no kidding this book okay was on the when it came out was on the wall street journal best-selling list national nationally this was like number was it uh, seven or eight nationally, okay? Now why? Do you think it's because this book is so good? I mean, this book is good, okay? But the reason why is because I had a huge audience. And so when I launched that book, I launched it to my huge audience. And guess what? They bought the book, okay? If you wanna be an author, you still need to have an audience. There, there's no business that you can have that you're not gonna, that you're gonna, that you don't need traffic, okay? And even, you know, Russell Brunson, he's got his, you know, I'm reading it here, this this Traffic Secrets, this is a good book. I haven't gone through the whole thing yet, but I already know what he's gonna say. I mean, he's gonna give you some strategies for getting traffic, because you need traffic, right? But organic is, is a big part of it. Otherwise, you're gonna have to pay. You can pay for ads, it's fine. That's a hard way to do it, though, let, let me tell you. So, start with that, okay? And then we'll go from there. Most of you guys, if you wanna start a side hustle right now, start doing that. Okay, get your website up, get your YouTube channel up, start making the content. All right, once you once you figure out what your niche that you're gonna serve is, and then let's go from there. Okay, because a lot of you guys, you just wanna jump right into it. You just wanna start making money. I get it, but it's not gonna happen, all right, for, for the most part. Now again, like I said, you could buy someone's course on how to, you know, and I, and I have some courses in the membership where, where there's an FBA course in there, I'm gonna add an, a, an eBay seller course, and those things can work if you apply those things, but even with that, Okay, you're still going to need, it's a different kind of business, of course. You, you may not need an audience in that case, but you're still gonna need one to two years of applying and following all that before you, you build up. In that case, it's not an audience that you're building up necessarily, although it is kind of, it's like a reputation online, right? Like let's say you're gonna be a good Amazon seller. What, what do you think is going to influence you being successful as a good Amazon seller? Well, it's gonna be your ratings, okay, and your ranking in Amazon, which is gonna be based on, on you're gonna have to build that up. Okay, you're gonna have to build an audience of customers, all right? So anyway, these are all things to think about, but starting a side business, a side hustle, is fairly simple, you just have to be patient. If someone's gonna preach you a get rich quick, it's not gonna work, 
I'll tell you that right now.